By the end of this 10 minute video you will be able to press go live and start streaming and the best part is all the graphics and scenes that you're seeing including the stinger transition are from my own graphics pack which you're getting for free and which can be imported in one click. I'm really excited for this. I hope you do. Welcome back to my channel. A quick reminder, in a few weeks I will start streaming on Twitch again and I would love it if you would be there. By the time you're seeing this video, I'm probably active already, so please consider going to my Twitch, which will be linked in the description and giving me a follow. Now before I show you how to set up your whole stream in only 10 minutes, I quickly want to thank the sponsor of today's video, who probably is a perfect fit for you as a starting streamer. It's owned, which is a graphics web shop that lets you import complete overlays in Streamlabs OBS in only one click. There's a big difference between my pack that I'm giving you in this video and the ones that they have to offer. They have over 200 completely animated packs which include audio, animated screens, alerts, great looking stinger transitions and much more. My favorite pack is the dark mode series. This one looks clean, professional and is very polished and I just love the overall look and animations. Now for all packs on the owned website there's a preview tool where you can see how things would look on your stream by triggering alerts, looking at different screens and all the other elements of your pack. They have a 40% sale going on but my code TVN gives you 50% instead so if you want to shop for an overlay click on the link in my description and don't forget to add the code TVN at checkout to slice 50% of your price. Now I will delete my Streamlabs OBS cache so I can start from zero together with you. Now go to the Streamlabs website which is streamlabs.com and click on the big download button to start downloading. While that's happening you can already go to my discord to get the free graphics pack. The link to my discord server is in my description and once you join you can look for free stuff near an overlay pack. Just click the download link and while this is happening the other download of Streamlabs OBS is probably finished already so we can start setting that up. Now once you went through the installation process launch Streamlabs OBS and login with an account. I'm going to use my Twitch since that's what most people will be doing but you can also choose YouTube or Facebook. Choose starter, start fresh, select your webcam right here, look for your microphone in the next drop down and then click continue. We are not using a theme so click skip on the bottom right and then click on start. Now Streamlabs OBS will be optimizing your settings and once that's done the only setting we will change is the resolution. Click on the settings icon on the bottom left, go to the video tab and then change both of these resolutions to 1280 by 720. If after doing everything in this video and going live you notice that your PC can't handle the stream or it looks horrible or it's lagging, you can go to my in-depth Streamlabs OBS settings tutorial where I will go deep into the advanced settings and explain everything. But for now we can definitely move on with this basic setup. Also if you ever want to change your audio or some device doesn't work, in this audio tab right here in the settings you can choose your computer sound and your microphone in these drop downs. Now when we close the settings you will see your audio sources on the bottom right and right here you can change the volume but you can also add filters and that's very important. I'm not going into this right now since it's not mandatory but you should definitely watch my audio tutorial after this one if you're serious about starting the stream. I will also link that right there in the cards, it's Streamlabs OBS filters. For now just speak loud into your microphone and then adjust the volume so that it's right in the yellow when you're talking. If it's too quiet click the settings icon, go to filters, click on the plus icon choose gain, add some gain right here, click done and that will fix it. Now let's add our graphics. I upgraded my Neon overlay pack with an import file for this tutorial so let's go to the file you downloaded from my discord. If you don't have it yet join my discord, go to Neon overlay pack and download it right there on the bottom. So once you unpack the zip folder that you downloaded from my discord go back to Streamlabs OBS to the settings, to scene collections and right there you will see import overlay file. Now go to where you unpack the neon zip folder and now look for the file called neon overlay import file. By using this import file you don't need to import and position all elements separately, I did it beforehand so right now all scenes and sources will be built for you. Let's go over what we just imported. So on the left you have the scenes and as you see these are things like starting soon, in game, intermission and all that stuff. Each of those scenes are like folders that hold sources and those are in the middle. So for example the in game scene has your game capture and your webcam, while the starting soon scene has an animated background, some text and we'll need a countdown which we will add ourselves. There is one level higher than the scenes which is scene themes. When you click on this drop down you will see neon overlay import file which is what we just installed and then also scenes which was the standard scene theme that was pre-installed. 
When you click on manage, all you will see an overview of those two and you can change the name, delete them or add a new one. So if I do that, I can give it a name, click on done and now we have a whole new scene collection. But let's go back to the one we just imported, then go back to the collections and delete the other two because we don't need them. Now let's customize these scenes by adding your own username, your game and some other stuff. Go to the starting soon screen if you're not there already and then double click on the alert box. Right here you will see all possible alerts and if you click on them you can customize things on the right. You can change things like the text that pops up but you can also go to media, click on change media go to stock images and there you can choose another image or gif and then click on done. On the bottom you will see test widget and there you can trigger events so let's test a new follower one. As you see it works and the position of the alert is also different for some scenes to make sure that it never overlaps with other elements. Most scenes on the left have a socials folder and you can add your own socials by changing the twitter name and youtube name text source in all of them. So let's double click on twitter name, change the text area right here click on done and it will be changed. Now do the same for YouTube and if you want to change the big text on top, you can change that by changing this starting soon text file. Right now we just need to add a countdown timer but that's very easy. In the neon folder we downloaded there's a text file called countdown timer so open that and right there you will find a URL. You will see m equals 10 and s equals 0. These are minutes and seconds so change these values to how long you want the countdown to be and then copy the whole thing. Now click this plus icon to add a source, choose browser source, call it countdown and then replace the URL inside. Make the width 1280, click on done and now just reposition the countdown and that will work. Every time you make this countdown source invisible and then make it visible again, it will reset so keep that in mind. Let's close the folder of these socials and then go to the in-game scene. Now start one of your games, make sure it's running and then double click on the game capture in Streamlabs OBS, set the mode to capture specific window and then choose your game in the next window dropdown. Now click on done, open your game, then alt top out of it again and right now you should see your game in Streamlabs OBS. Now if you don't see your game then you can try adding a source and try the same thing with window capture instead of game capture or in the worst case you can choose display capture which simply allows you to select your monitor and captures everything that's on it but that's not efficient and it will be hard for your PC to run so try to fix your game capture by researching online if it's not working. Now you will need to choose one of the two webcam borders. Now the one with the name is a folder and inside you can see a text file which allows you to change the name which is on the border. I will choose this one and then delete the other. Now make sure that your webcam source has a webcam selected and if you can't see it right click on the source, choose transform, fit to screen and then rescale and reposition it. Now make sure that the webcam source is below the webcam border in the sources and if it doesn't fit you can cut off any sides by holding alt on your keyboard and dragging one of the sides. Now let's go to the intermission scene and this one also has an alert box, a socials folder and the webcam but you already know how to change those so make sure they work. and then reposition and rescale everything so it fits. Your chat will appear on the right in this area because of this chat box source we see right here and we can test this by opening the chat on the right and then typing some message. To change the font size click on your chat box, make sure it fits, if it doesn't double click on the chat box, keep changing the resolution and repositioning it till it does fit. Then the video watching scene, this is very useful. Make sure that your webcam works just like in the previous scenes and don't forget that you can cut off any sides by holding alt and then dragging one of them. Then add a new source and choose display capture because we will be recording our whole screen with this. Click add source, choose your monitor right here and then click on done. Now move this to the bottom of the sources then rescale and reposition it and right now you will be capturing your whole screen and if you go to YouTube and you maximize your video then it will be perfect for watching videos together with viewers. Now click on your chat box, make sure it fits, if it doesn't double click on the chat box, keep changing the resolution and repositioning it till it does fit. Now lastly go to the stream ending scene and like all the other scenes you can change your socials in this folder 
And right here, you can also change the title by changing this texture. Now, right here in the middle of Streamlabs OBS, you will see mini feed, and right here, you see new followers coming in, as well as new subs, donations, and all that stuff. Now, I highly recommend you to bookmark my Streamlabs OBS Master Course playlist right here on YouTube. I keep updating this playlist with in depth tutorials for all aspects about setting up Streamlabs OBS. To be honest, it's like a paid course about Streamlabs OBS, but just as a playlist right here on YouTube. YouTube. Now I will link it in the description and in the cards in case you want to check it out. So right now you're ready to go live. Click on the go live button on the bottom right and then right here you'll see your account on the left. Give your stream a title, select your game, add a few tags, disable optimize encoder settings and then press confirm and go live when you're ready. If you don't stream on Twitch but you stream on Facebook or YouTube then there are a few extra steps you need to take to go live. At least if you want to do it properly. Look in my description for two links. One to a YouTube guide and then one to a Facebook one. Now in those videos I'm starting from exactly this point where you're ready to go live and I explain step by step what you need to do to go live on those platforms. And as I already mentioned in the beginning I'm setting up my Twitch channel for the video nerds so I would love it if you would go follow me there and be part of my launch. Maybe by the time you're seeing this I'm already streaming actively and that would be even better. Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to check out my in-depth Streamlabs OBS playlist and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Have a nice day.